Uh, g'day guys, welcome to the uh, isolation ward here, or um, well it is actually my kitchen, easy and delicious kitchen, but I have been in self isolation for a few days, um, I'm not sick or anything, uh, and I don't want to go into all that anyway, but needless to say we're living in strange times and I've been stuck in the flat here for a little bit, so I just thought I'd make this video, I still wanted to make a video, so my normal process would be I'd write out a recipe, put in a list of ingredients and go shopping. Well, I'm not doing that today, so I've had a look around the flat here to see what I could make and I know a lot of people have been hoarding things like rice and pasta and I've certainly got those things in my pantry, but I thought a little bit more of an interesting sort of stuck in your flat sort of thing to make these um i've got some rice paper here left over from oh goodness knows how long ago um quite a few sheets of it too so reminded me of a street food from vietnam where well, they actually use those rounds of rice paper to make they call it a vietnamese pizza but it's like a crispy um yeah it's pizza shaped <laughs> but it's nothing like a dough obviously with the rice paper and i've got a few things here i did have a few eggs hanging around. Now normally with these I probably use uh, spring onions or scallions as they call them in America. I haven't got those in the pantry at the moment but I did have one of these red onions so I'm going to use half one of those chopped up. I've got a bit of chilli chilli paste there in the fridge and I've actually just found one more ingredient I'll show you that now. Alrighty guys, obviously when you're foraging around in your kitchen, your pantry, another great place to look around is in your freezer. And I've just had a look at mine and there's all sorts of weird and wonderful things in there that I've sort of, um, I haven't hoarded but I've just put in there and um, I sort of semi forgot about them. As soon as I look like, oh yeah, I remember buying that. But anyway, what I've got here is an ingredient that's going to be perfect for my... Um, Vietnamese style street food pizzas. So normally on those um, pizzas you'd often see, there's all sorts of ingredients, you can put whatever you want on, but a common ingredient are those little tiny prawns and some of them are even dried, dehydrated. But what I've got here is a frozen block and there's a block of white bait. And I do remember buying it I had a bit of a, uh, I don't know, I felt like <laughs> having it at one point and then that feeling must have gone and it's, I haven't had that feeling since, but uh, so it's been in the freezer. But anyway, I'm getting it out now and I'm going to use it. Alright, now by the miracle of YouTube, I've now defrosted my uh, block of white bait there. Um, yeah, defrosted and also sort of patted dry with a paper towel. Eggs want to escape. Sit. Stay. Alright. Um, oh, just before I forget, I did find one more ingredient for my actual pizza working in the back of my fridge there. And that's one of these. Well, it's obviously been there a while, but uh, looks like it's alright. Uh, just some of these coconut flakes and they've been sweetened and they're sort of um, semi-dried and I think some of those on my pizza uh, will go well with that um, chilli paste so anyway, put that aside for now because the first thing I want to do is actually fry up my um, Sprite before I even start assembling the pizza uh, white bait I keep saying Sprite but um, I don't know if you've seen it, it's these tiny little, like hatchlings of fish, I think they're called fry, I'd have to check that, funny if it was, you're going to fry the fry, um, to do that, in this paper bag I've got here, 
a couple of tablespoons of corn flour, which I've mixed in a third of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a teaspoon of salt. I've mixed that all up. I'm going to put my Sprite into this bag and um, try and coat it all. Now, obviously, it's going to clump up a bit. Um, firstly, you can't get all that moisture off. And they're just so tiny and fragile, they're like little tiny worms. Alright, I've just got a bit of veggie oil on here, so um, I'm just going to cook my uh, white bait. Now like I say, they are going to sort of stick together, and that's okay, we're just going to sort of cook them in small little clumps as we go along, and alright. Sort of breaking apart a little bit, but best you can, but not the same. That's pretty good. And I'll probably need to do these in yeah, a couple of batches as per usual. Once they um, start to brown, obviously they're not going to take much to cool and sort of crisp up nicely. Like you can sort of see here, like so. Nice and crispy. I've got some um, paper towel there to drain them. I'll get them on there. And then I'll get the next batch going. Alrighty. So I've cooked all my white, white bait there, as you saw. So um, what I've got now is just a little um, fry pan. Now in Vietnam, they do these on top of the hot coals, but you know, no hot coals here, so I'm doing them in the home kitchen. So I've put a little bit of coconut oil in there, or quite a, liberally covered it actually. So I've got one of my rice paper sheets here, and that's just gonna sit in there. And we're just going to gently heat that up. And I will just put a drizzle on top as well. And we'll just, yeah, just wrap it on at the top as well. You could just do that. Probably do this way. Right, let's get to work. So I've got here half of that red onion that I've just chopped. Like so. And I'll get a good spoonful of my chili paste. Do it to your own taste. I'm actually thinking I found some sriracha as well, which is usually in my fridge. I'm going to use a bit of that as well, so I'm making mine spicy as per usual. Do it to your own taste. Now, I've got my one egg. And actually just move that aside a little bit. And we'll put our egg on top, like so. Don't worry if it goes everywhere. Now what I'm going to do is just gently sort of mix that egg up with my spoon along with my chilli and with my onions and just sort of gradually 
work it over the whole top of this bit of um, rice paper. And we'll just let that cook away. Also going to add a generous sprinkle of my coconut flakes. some of my crunchy white paint fritter well it's not really a fritter but you know what I mean fried white bait now that white bait believe me because I just tested it makes a great snack just in its own right but I think it'll add a lot to this pizza as well looking pretty good the last thing I might add to it now I've just got here just a bit of store-bought normal mayonnaise the ideal mayonnaise would be some of that Japanese QB but I haven't got that in, at the stock at the moment so just put a bit of that across like so and like I say I'll get a bit of my sriracha and go the opposite way. Like so. Now I'll just let that cook until that um base has sort of gone nice and crispy or crispy-ish. Now one thing you may want to do while this is um, cooking away it's just rotate it around a little bit in case there's any sort of hot spots on the bottom of your fry pan so we get it nice even cooking I've got to tell you that smells really good Now as that's cooking away, we sort of need to decide now there's two ways you can go with this as far as serving it goes. Now I'm going to do it Vietnamese uh, street food style, which is basically I'm going to attempt to lift it up, fold it in half and then cook it for a bit longer on each side. Um, if you're sitting down in a more sit down sort of environment, you could just serve it like that like a pizza and I've seen them they cut it up with scissors into sort of little little sort of pizza triangles but I've really got no need to do that so I am going to attempt without spilling everything to fold mine and I might get another little tool there because he's a slippery little sucker fold her over. Right, so and just cook it for a tad longer. As you can see, it's looking quite cooked as it is. Alrighty, so I've got my um, Vietnamese <laughs> ration <laughs> ration survival kit pizza here. Uh, 
I must say I'm really really happy with the result looks fantastic now in again street food would be served folded over like this but it'd be wrapped up in um, you know yesterday's news a bit of newspaper but I'm eating this straight away now so let's grab it it's still hot hot as it's got all that bits of crispy fish in there as you can see I don't know if it's gonna focus today I'm not sure if that's focusing or not, but anyway, it looks a treat, and I might actually lift the plate up if there's any spillage. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh man, that is. Mmm. That is really, really good. Mm. I'm not sure what's the crispiest, the nice bit of um, rice paper that's really coloured up nice. All that white bait in the middle, still nice and crispy. It won't be crispy for long. Now that's folded over in the um, little steam in there, but oh, the taste is just fantastic. And even with that ordinary household mayonnaise, it really, really adds to the uh, texture and you get that bit of creaminess. Definitely got some chilli in it. Not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's definitely there. With the um, chilli paste and the uh, sriracha sauce. Ah, oh, that's a really, really surprisingly good um, compromise. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to those who subscribed as usual. If you haven't subscribed, can I ask you to hit that subscribe button? I had one unsubscribe this morning, don't know why. You know, you tend to notice when they unsubscribe when your subscription numbers are moving up like a glacier. It's fast, a slow moving glacier. So it's quite noticeable when it goes down one. Anyway, that's just, um, yeah, it's not no big deal. So thanks for, like I say, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.